Hello everyone, this is Blender Guppy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the no overlap feature in the random cables operator in random flow. First, the way this works is different from how, let's say, panel cloth sets up objects for collision. Panel cloth uses selection and the last object selected as the source mesh where the cloth is generated while the rest of the selection is treated as collision objects. For random cables, all mesh objects in the scene are treated as collision objects. So, when you turn on the No Overlap toggle in the Redo panels, it will take out all the cables generated if it overlaps any objects in the scene. The other toggle, which is Overlap Self, describes the overlap between each cables. If you toggle this off, then cables currently generated so far that overlaps another cable will be removed. The no overlap algorithm removes overlapping cables after it is generated. Which is why even though you have a 200 cable amount, you will see less because some were removed because of overlap. Turning off overlap self is also slower because it will process each of the generated cable to detect overlap. And this effect will be greater when using higher cable amounts. So only use this feature if necessary. The no overlap feature can also affect the source mesh. As you can see here, the cables are avoiding the geometry in the middle. This works for every face in the source mesh, except for the faces that you have selected where the cables are coming from. Remember that the operator will process every object in the scene to detect overlap. This can be particularly slow for a large scene with a lot of objects involved. So to make it faster, only visible objects in the viewport will be analyzed for overlap. This means you have to hide everything except the objects you need for the no overlap feature and this includes the source mesh where the cables will come from. The head in objects will be immunized from processing, making the algorithm faster for more populated scenes. Ultimately, using the no overlap feature is a slow process, so play around with less cable amount, then just manually enter a higher number after you have settled with the right pattern and distribution of the cables. Still, this is a really quick method of generating random cables that causes no overlap with objects around them, adding for more realism. And that is it for this video. If you have any question, use the comment section or the links in the description. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.